everyone this is Bia, today we are starting aluminium classes. This is first lecture of facade aluminium field. Today we are starting from gum and stick curtain wall. We have two type of series F50 and F60. There is two type of glazing, one is structural glazing and second is with pressure plate glazing. See this drawing is for structural glazing and this drawing is for pressure plate glazing. I will do one thing the entire die drawing, AutoCAD, you can find from the below link. Structural advantages of the FSO system. UF values as per per and 10077 too. The same profiles for mullions and transoms. Virtually no offcut. New controlled drainage system via a special transom insulator. No ratcheting in transom or mullion processing. Efficient production in assembly by straight cutting, flat edge radii for visually flawless inner transom attachment. Unique transom connector for a no-crack transom attachment to the vertical mullion. Inner glazing gasket with the same view all round. Increase of structural stability values by insertion of commercially available aluminum or steel profiles. Let's us go to introduce the mullion and transom profiles. Furthermore, what is mullion and transom? A mullion is a vertical element that forms a division between units of a window or screen, or is used decoratively. Horizontal elements separating the head of a door from a window above are both a head jam and horizontal mullion and are called transoms. These profile can be used as mullion and transom. The article number is 150030, and the depth has only 30 mm. This profile, also we can use as mullion and transom, the article number is 150055, and the depth has only 55mm. This profile, also we can use as mullion and transom, the article number is 150075, and the depth has only 75mm. This profile, also we can use as mullion and transom. The article number is 150095, and the depth has only 95 mm. This profile, also we can use as mullion and transom. The article number is 150115, and the depth has only 115 mm. This profile, also we can use as mullion and transom. The article number is 150135, and the depth has only 135 mm. This profile, also we can use as mullion and transom. The article number is 150155, and the depth has only 155 mm. This profile, also we can use as mullion and transom. The article number is 150175, and the depth has only 175 mm. This profile, also we can use as mullion and transom. The article number is 150195, and the depth has only 195 mm. This profile, we can use as mullion only. The article number is 152075. This profile will work at only corner area. Thermal criteria relative to other building components. Aluminium has a high heat transfer coefficient, meaning that aluminium is a very good conductor of heat. This translates into high heat loss through aluminium curtain wall mullions. There are several ways to compensate for this heat loss, the most common way being the addition of thermal brakes. Thermal brakes are barriers between exterior metal and interior metal, usually made of polyvinyl chloride PVC. These brakes provide a significant decrease in the thermal conductivity of the curtain wall. However, since the thermal break interrupts the aluminium mullion, the overall moment of inertia of the mullion is reduced and must be accounted for in the structural analysis and deflection analysis of the system. Thermal conductivity of the curtain wall system is important because of heat loss through the wall, which affects the heating and cooling costs of the building. On a poorly performing curtain wall, condensation may form on the interior of the mullions. This could cause damage to adjacent interior trim and walls. Pressure plates. Curtain while glazing is pressure glazing. An even pressure on the pane must be assured. 
Normally, the tightening pressure value of the screws is approximately 4 newton meters. When glazing, care should always be taken that the inner gasket is flat against the pane or sheet. Caution. In the area of the screws, there may be no buckling of the gaskets or recesses in the clamping profile. What is gasket? A gasket is a mechanical seal which fills the space between two or more mating surfaces, generally to prevent leakage from or into the joined objects while under compression. Gaskets allow for less than perfect mating surfaces on machine parts where they can fill irregularities. Gaskets are commonly produced by cutting from sheet materials. Gaskets for specific applications, such as high-pressure steam systems, may contain asbestos. However, due to health hazards associated with asbestos exposure, non-asbestos gasket materials are used when practical. It is usually desirable that the gasket be made from a material that is to some degree yielding such that it is able to deform and tightly fill the space it is designed for, including any slight irregularities. Some types of gaskets require a sealant be applied directly to the gasket surface to function properly. T-connector. The fixing holes for the joint connection can be drilled with the drilling template item number 750900. The transom profiles are cut straight 90 degrees and then perforated on both sides by means of drilling template item number 750901 or puncture item number 750902. After fastening the joint connector to the mullion, the transom is screwed to the latter. It should be ensured that the marking on the joint connector points in the direction of the glass pane. Before clipping the PVC insulator, the transom gasket item number 750028 is to be inserted on both sides into the vertical mullion. Cover cap. The cover plates of the F50 system are available in various structural depths. Vertical cover plates mullions are continuous, horizontal cover plates are installed between the vertical plates. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for latest videos. Thank you. Bye bye.